in the, in the previous days, we've been advocating for the rights and transparency for our people. Today we've cut out here at Nandi County Assembly so that we see our, uh, uh, the chairman of ad hoc committee, uh, Mr. Uh, Matata, uh, tabling the motion before the house. That is what we've come for. It is a non-violent assembly. It is indeed with line with our constitution, the right of picketing and ass assembly because it is encouraged in our constitution. As a great people of Nandi County today, we are here in solidarity with our MCS. It is unfortunate. Now, as I'm speaking to you, members of Fort Este, I've been called by the DCIO in judge of Nandi Central to write a report, which I don't know, I've been called over what issue. I'm ready myself to go before him and write a report so that I'll be able to tell him what has transpired over the times because our people are asking where is the mojari where are the roads where are the promotion of ect teachers where are the medicine in our hospitals where are these cost projects that are being told where is this mass grave that has, uh, has, been, has come out in the report that is what i'm advocating as a young man of this great uh, county nandi in the great spirit of kotele absamoe i'm here to say we are not going to retreat by fire and by force, we are going to stand with our people because time has come for our people to be freed. That is the message I'm leaving to our people and the members of Fort State. I call upon our people tomorrow to cut here in numbers so that we express our dissatisfaction to what is going on in Nandi. I want to warn His Excellency Governor Sang, this issue of paying some coons so to intimidate our people, we have come of age, we are not going to give in to blackmails and threats. Time has come for our people to be free. And forthwith, we are calling upon the county commandant of police, the county criminal investigation officer, the county, you know, the county commissioner of Nandi, and all security apparatus. Yesterday, they advised us after we obtained, uh, you know, our permit or our our, our permit to, to peacefully picket and assemble, and they gave us an advice that we should not picket because, uh, 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 you know because uh, some of the officers are manning examinations. We, this is what we want to tell the people of Nandi. Article 37 of the Constitution gives us a right to picket and assemble, and there is no day examinations or planning of infiltration of those demonstrations will suspend Article 37 of the Constitution. Therefore, we are calling upon the people of Nandi to come out in large numbers tomorrow and express themselves and you know, show solidarity to the ad hoc report to, so that this report can be implemented for the posterity of, of this county. That is all what I have. Maybe I can just add to Governor Sang, if at all you think you've been running this county <coughs> in a good way, if at all you've been leading Nandi County in a constitutional way, why are you running about uh, around sponsoring youth? Why are you buying jambe sticks for our youth? Why are you misusing what the border associations, which has been brought together to form associations and groups so that they get organized and fend for their lives peacefully and rightfully? We had established an ADO committee, Pass 1 to Standing Order 195. That committee was to conclude its exercise by 21st October 2024, but uh, because, uh, because of the many documents and uh, many personnel that uh, they felt were persons of interest, they had requested for more time. So we extended that particular period to 8th of November 2024. It is true that uh, as of 8th November 2024, at around 3.30 p.m., they were able to submit the report to the county assembly, which was duly received by the Honorable Clerk. And um, today we had a uh, house business meeting where we were able to schedule business for this week. And uh, among the businesses that were scheduled for this week, one was uh, the tabling of the ad hoc report, which was tabled today this afternoon. And also a notice of motion was issued where the Honorable Member from Capsabet, the move of the motion, indicated that uh, he'll be moving a motion tomorrow at 9.30 a.m.
wish to inform the members of the fourth estate and the public at large that uh, as a speaker of the county assembly of nandi we i have not received in my office any notice or rather uh, any notice pursuant to uh, our standing orders pursuant to the constitution that is article 181 and also section uh, section 33 of the county governments act and therefore as we speak we've not received any motion from any member or any other person concerned so uh, there's nothing to do with the impeachment of his excellency the governor Tulikuwa tumepata notification from the members of the public that they intend to, to demonstrate tomorrow tare 13 mpaka tare 14 anasema wanakuja kusikiza debate ya report ya ad hoc committee walipokuja tukawakubalia and uh, Napenda kushukuru sana watu ya Nandi sababu hawafanyangi kitu bila bila kueleza polisi na kwa sehemu mingi huo wanatusaidia hata kwa kupambana na uhalifu walipoleta barua wiki ijayo tuka tukakubalia tukasema tuta provide security na tukaeleza eh yeah, tutaskiza ground bila iko sababu wakati tuko na national exercise which is the exams ambaye imechukua most of our officers wanaendelea kuchunga kwa hivyo watu hawatakuwa wengi sana so waliweza kuelezewa na OCS kwamba wata kulingana na intelligence kama tutasikia iko watu wanataka kuleta ufurugu tutaweza kusimamisha tutengeneze siku nyingine na baada ya kusikiza habari kutoka kwa uh, intelligence officers tukapata kwamba iko vikundi viwili na wakati iko vikundi viwili iko uwezekano kwamba kutakuwa na ofurugu so nikaweza ku advise OCS apigie watu wenye walileta barua watu wenye walileta hiyo nini wenye walipeana namba zao kuwaeleza tuko tayari kudumisha amani nandi lakini hii ni yao iko iko kikundi kingine inajitokeza ndio aweze kuwaomba waweke siku nyingine hata uzuri napenda watu hapa sababu ni watu wanasikia na huwa waka, wakati hakuna kikundi kingine mimi mwenyewe anajitokeza hata tunatembea nao lakini kwa saa hii office ni kidogo sababu ya hiyo exercise na the information with us is that there are people who are intending to disrupt their good intended demonstrations so nilipo fuatiria zaidi nikapata kuwa hakuna kitu inafichwa kwa hiyo muswada itakuwa kesho